In this lesson, we will discuss the cash flow waterfall in project finance transactions. In a typical project finance transaction, the lenders rely heavily on the cash flow generated by the project for repayment of the loan. As a result, the lenders will impose strict restrictions on how the project company uses its cash. Project finance lenders manage the flow of cash through the project by means of the cash flow waterfall or payment cascade. The cash flow waterfall reflects the flow of cash from revenue until the payout of dividends. The control of the cash flow by lenders is achieved by means of special accounts set up by the project at the lender and controlled by lenders. Sometimes, these accounts are referred to as control accounts. Typical cash flow waterfall in the operating phase of the project starts with revenue and cash from revenue flows to proceeds account. From the proceeds account, the cash may flow to the operating account. The releases from the operating account are allowed to cover the agreed operating costs, tax payments, ongoing maintenance costs, debt fees, debt interest, and debt principal amounts. After covering the operating costs and debt service, the cash flow will go to the Debt Service Reserve Account, or DSRA. The cash reserves in the Debt Service Reserve Account can be used if the project generates insufficient cash flow to service the debt. Commonly, six months worth of future debt service is kept at the DSRA. After funding the DSRA, the cash flow will be used to fund the Maintenance Reserve Account, or MRA. The Maintenance Reserve Account will accumulate the cash reserve to fund the future large maintenance capital expenditures. Once MRA has been funded, the cash flow is allowed to be distributed to the shareholders. Typically, the dividends are allowed to be paid only when debt service is paid. The required accounts are fully funded and the project's financial performance passes certain tests, such as the minimum required debt service cover ratio being above 1.1. The particular structure of the cash flow waterfall will be specific to each project and is subject to negotiations. The cash flow waterfall and required control accounts will be specified in the loan agreement or accounts agreements. The party which will manage the accounts will be either one of the lenders in a syndicate or an independent administrator. Some project sponsors with strong balance sheets can obtain a letter of credit or guarantees from a reputable bank instead of funding the reserve accounts. This way, more cash will be available for distribution to the sponsor, although the fee will have to be paid to the bank for its guarantees. The project company may be allowed to keep a cash reserve in the bank account it controls, which will be used to cover an unexpected expense. This provides some flexibility to the project company because cash from revenue is unavailable until it reaches the distribution account.